you. It'll be Saul Vasquez on deck for Josh Overby. There's pitch to the zone for a strike. Oh, you know what? That might make sense for Josh's speech. I think Josh is going to give a speech anyway, but I kind of realized he might have been giving it because he cannot return. So, might have been that factor too. But also, he's a great leader anyway. So, you're going to get a positive no matter what. 0-1 to work, Chan here. Pitch inside and hits him. There will be two base runners now on with the hit-by-pitch to Seth Wurchan. Maldonado moves up to second. Wurchan to first, and he'll bring up Saul Vasquez now for the Flying Bison. Number 14, Saul Vasquez. Okay, we're going to keep going down the line. I believe that is uh, – that's still Detlifson on deck, right? Okay. I, I saw this the same matching number, but – at this point, I, I'm just here, guys. <laughs> okay, runners on first and second here. First pitch. Through the zone, call for a strike. Owan to Vasquez here. Dylan Lee is the acting manager. Oh, is that the is that official? He's in there. Dylan, no, we're gonna call him the acting manager now for interim manager at the least. Next pitch is inside. One and one here. Again. Dylan has worked his way up the totem pole. He was up in here in the press box with us with our uh, uh, development statistic analysis, and uh, he worked his way to assistant to the GM. And uh, with Cam and uh, John ejected, he can be the uh, interim manager now. Here's the 1-1. One, one. This one. Line back up the middle on a hop. Second baseman picks it up. He tags the second base bag to first. It's in time. It's a game-ending double play as officially now the Joplin Outlaws have won the inaugural Mid-America League Championship of 2024 by a final score, Joplin 11 and Abilene 4. It is made official. As, as That's a rather unfortunate way, but that's okay. After all that, you know what? As long as there's somewhere to eat after, I'm okay. <laughs> so anyway, that'll wrap things up as the uh, Joplin Outlaws have won the Mid-America League Championship in its inaugural season. The out the Outlaws have come in from the Mink League and have come into their new league here and have won it in their first year. And for the Flying Bison in their inaugural season are the runner-ups of the Mid-America League. And i got to give everybody a huge uh, shout-out to that and a lot of credit for it as this has been a really fun summer to me still, even with this result. So, looks like the... Uh, Outlaws will be presented with the uh, Mid America League trophy. And uh, yeah, I guess all I got to do is uh, wrap things up. Is uh, we took too long of a break, and uh, I think I'm just going to wrap things up here and just say thank you to everybody for supporting the Flying Bison Radio Network all season long for all the home games. It's been a great ton of fun. Um, I got to tell you the truth I didn't know how the season would end. Um, I wouldn't have said it would end like this ever. Um, no way. Uh, but that kind of, that's kind of the Mid-America League baseball brand almost. You kind of never know. It's kind of how the Outlaws came back from a 10-2 deficit yesterday to even be here in the championship game, which is insanity to me. But at the same time, my favorite quote is, it is what it is, though. So I'd like to really thank the Flying Faithful for uh, supporting the radio network as always and supporting this team in general. These guys have put in a ton of work, and I'm so glad it was recognized with these guys as well. You know, I'm, I am uh, just really proud to be part of this organization and proud that the uh, Abilene community has responded to this, um, this organization and team, you know, to Cam Vega, Logan Vega, Chris Johnson, uh, Mason Ornalis and H Harry Wolonski, who already has you know gone home. You know the coaching staff. You know a big shout out for them and their time uh, to prepare the guys for game day each and every game through seventy total games. Uh, they deserve a ton of credit for what they've done. You know, uh, just a really good group of guys, and I hope uh, they can come back next year and uh, do it again. Um, to the players, uh, you know what a great effort. You know to come out here, win forty seven games in a season, be the League runner-ups, uh, that's got to be still a really cool feeling anyway. You know, and for the truth is, these players for the Flying Bison may not have been a win today, but you know what? They're off to bigger and better things coming up in their co collegiate careers, and I cannot wait to follow along with that, whether it be, you know, following them on Twitter, you know, following their parents on Facebook or, or whatever, you know? It's just one of those things I, I, I'm going to enjoy following along the career of Junior Maldonado at UTSA. Same thing for Drew Detlifson. They're going to the same school. Jacob Lang 
to UTA, you know, Texas Arlington. Josh Overbeek to Nebraska, I've been following him. Now I'm going to follow him some more now, you know, and, and the rest of the guys, they're going to make, you know, some collegiate plays coming up this spring. I'll be following along with them uh, as they are officially uh, year one members of the Flying Bison baseball team, and I think that is such an honor, um, including for me to be a, a privilege and a part of that. So, you know, I, I really like, like to thank, you know, the front office staff members, you know. Uh, I'm going to start with uh, Scott Kirk, who – was really driven to bring a baseball team back to Abilene. Um, he, he kept the drive going, and, uh, you know, again, he invited me for the first pitch today, which I thought there were more um, people that were deserving of it, if I'll be truthfully honest. But uh, I'm, I wanted to throw that first pitch out for the staff members in this press box, the one that works the gates, the ones that works the security, the ones who are outside in the heat every day making sure the fans have a great time. That one was dedicated to them in particular. So I, I'd like to thank Scott for... Uh, what he does as the team president for the Flying Boston organization and uh, uh, making the dream come true of uh, getting Abilene baseball back this summer. And, you know, i got to continue the line with John Stark. We've talked to him a ton. If John doesn't call my cell phone around, like, April or May, I'm not here probably. Um, and there was a lot of connection to that with Dustin Tatro. If it's not for Dustin's recommendation, from me to John, that doesn't happen either. So I got to give Dustin a ton of credit for getting us connected with the radio stuff, all that fun jazz. Uh, Dustin does an incredible job for West Tex Communications, and uh, you know, be sure to continue to support them. They do a great job in helping us get the online feed for all 34 home games, which is now 36. Um, incredible. Um, the amount of time he's invested in the organ, the radio, the sound system, everything. You know, it, it, it's just incredible what he can do, and he's very talented. I thank him for the recommendation. I thank John Stark for giving me the opportunity, the general manager of the Flying Bison, to be your inaugural voice of the Flying Bison on the radio um, and all that. Um, uh, moving up here to uh, George Lesmeister, the team owner. He had a lot of investment into the team, um, and because of that, he put a, he helped bring a quality product and the right uh, people here with the right equipment. And uh, with that, without his envisionment and his baseball knowledge. Um, being a hands-on team owner, you know, a lot of this probably doesn't work, you know, and it worked perfectly um, with the very intellectual mind of George. You know, he, he does a great job, and he's very funny, too. You know, he's a great he's a great com- comedian sometimes, <laughs> but George is just so laid back as well. You know, you can talk to him, and you wouldn't know he's the team owner if you walked into the press box. So I give George uh, a ton of credit for a ton of things, and I appreciate him for really, really bringing the ba- game of baseball to Abilene in the summer. Um, I, I can't wait to talk to him later on if he's uh, up for it. Um, but what, my last staff member I'd like to thank real quick is Kat Dugay, our director of marketing. She is just the bomb. She just does everything right, you know, whether it be from social media, getting things prepared for game days in one way or another. Um, she kind of gave, gave me more of an open mind on the marketing aspect that I've been able to take uh, my day by day this summer. And she's been very open about that, too. So I give her a ton of credit. Also, she's one of the few people I come to the games to that I don't talk baseball with. We just joke around and do whatever. And that's been really cool to kind of have that bond, especially, you know, when she brings family, like her mom, Simone, who's here today. Uh, It's just really cool to have that bond here, especially with all the front office members in that perspective outside of baseball to that as well. So big shout out to Kat, Kat Dugay. She has just done an incredible job, and she's going to do uh, continue to do an incredible job, just like the rest of the uh, front office members to get ready for 2025. And I could spiel here, and I could do a whole lot of things, but I'm, I'm about out of time here because I'm going to set up for the uh, log to continue on. But anyway, the Flying Bison are your Mid-America League runner-ups as they fall to the Joplin Outlaws tonight by a final score. The Joplin Outlaws 11 and your Abilene Flying Bison for The Flying Bison finished the inaugural season with 47 wins and 23 losses. And congrats again to the Joplin Outlaws, the 2024 inaugural Mid-America League champions. We wish them the safest uh, uh, trip home on their way back to Missouri. And, uh, yeah, that wraps it up for me. My name's Caleb Yalvan. Thank you all so much for joining me from Walt Driggers Field this whole summer. It's been a blast, but I can't wait to do it again with you guys next summer in 2025. So I hope you all have a great fall and a great rest of your week. And I will see you all in 2025. Have a great rest of your week, everybody.